Hello everyone, here is the professor channel. This video is about the hardware configuration of the PLC using the Semantic Manager software. The previous video was about the setting PGPC interface. You will find its link in the description below if you want to check it. Now let's begin our video and open this Semantic Manager software from here. You can cancel this with it. Now to do the hardware configuration, you need to follow these steps. Firstly, press File, New. Press File, New. You can give it any name, for, ex for example, the, the professor, and press OK. This window will appear. Now click on Insert and choose a Station. Then choose Sematic 300. Double click here and then click on the hardware. This window will open. Now to start the configuration, choose Sematic 300 from here. Then choose rack. Then choose rack. This is the first thing you need to add because other modules will be attached to it. So this is the rack. You can add up to 11 modules. Then first thing you need to add on the rack is the CPU. So close the rack and open the CPU. Now there is many different types of the CPUs. Now choose the type that you have. For example, you can choose CPU 313C, CPU 313C2TP, or CPU 315, and so on. If you are using simulation, it won't matter. So let's choose 313C2DP. Now you have to choose the right key for the CPU. Each CPU has a different key, for, so, so let's choose this key. Now you will have two versions, let's choose version 2.6. Now when you click on it, it will highlight the position on the rack, which is 2 for the CPU, so you can only add the CPU on position 2. Now this will open, this is the address of the PLC, or the CPU connect to this PLC which is address 2 and this is the default if you have another PLC you can't choose 2 for it you will need to choose another another address so you can use 1 or 3 or 4 of course 0 is used for the PC as shown in the last video of the setting PGPC interface it will appear as shown one of the advantages of this type of the CPU is it already has a digital input and output and you don't need to add them, it is added automatically. Now press save and compile, and then download. This will download this hardware configuration to your PLC. If you are using simulation, PLC sim must be running as shown. I will do a separate PLC sim video soon, and I will add its link to the description. Now press download, and then press OK. Okay again, this is to confirm the address, and it is done. Now if you have any questions or notes, please write them in the comments below, and I will read them, and I, and I will try to do another video going into the details of how to add analog modules, and how to manually add the digital modules, and so on. Of course, if you like this video, please subscribe and press like and share this video and as I told you if you have any comment write them below and of course you can check the playlists in my channel for this semantic manager or the PLC and at the end of this video I will post another videos and links to subscribe so you can check them thanks bye